and welcome to a brand new special how to cosplay telling you how to cosplay the fugitive doctor. I've had a fair few comments asking me to uh, do a video on this costume ever since I debuted it the other day and I am I'm gonna say that I'm absolutely enamored by the reception that's received. I very much love it and I'm going to get into how it was created and it wasn't just me who worked on it of course it was my lovely girlfriend Kat uh, who is also known as Cantus Creative on Instagram. Go give her a follow. So anyway, let's get to it. So firstly, a quick overview of the costume that I'm wearing. So, uh, firstly from the top, we have the glasses. I really enjoy the glasses that Joe Martin wears. They are really, really cool and they give her doctor a real vibe when she wears them. And um, I got these from a seller on eBay. I thought they were pretty cool. They're hexagonal yellow lens ones. Uh, yeah, you know. And the shirt is actually a plain white wing collar shirt that has been painted over. Obviously, you can tell it, it's clearly not white anymore. And the coat is a tail coat. It's one of those X higher ones that you can find popping up on eBay. Make sure you get it in a dark blue. Uh, the waistcoat is a uh, double breasted waistcoat with uh, another, again, it's also dark blue. Again, eBay, I'll put all the links in the description below so you know which ones to get as well as where to get these buttons in particular because I thought they were a particularly good alt to use instead. And as for the trousers, well, you just need plain black trousers. I mean, she wears combat trousers so if they have a little pocket in them, you can see them in my cosplay photo. Uh, again, that's just a suggestion. Yeah, whichever brand of trousers that you want to use, feel free to use them. But either way, Let's move on to my other half, Cat, and we shall go through the whole process of making this costume. So this is my wonderful girlfriend, Katie, who has helped me out magnificently on this costume. And she did that with the shirt. So, do tell us how you did the shirt, my dear. Okay, so what I did was, well, Dom ordered a shirt, because he knows his size and everything. Um, so then I just bought normal, like, fabric paint off of Amazon. I think it was, like, half pound for six or something. So it's pretty good if you're poor like me. So, yeah, this is a screen accurate fabric. With this part, I made the, the blue, blue part. Yeah, I, I basically measured the proportions of everything and then drew it with pencil on the shirt. I think it's best if you use, like, tailor's chalk to do this but I don't have that so I just use pencil but it's fine because when you paint it it covers it up anyway so I painted it and I did that and I based all the proportions of the material and stuff yes you've used the uh, pattern sides as well so you can see if you compare it yeah you'll see that the pattern has been very nicely replicated because mm. all the from the stripy section to the red to the yeah. yellow to the blue to that purple section there which you, which you have really done a great job thank on. you but like you don't need the screen accurate material if you don't have the material you, material you could easily just zoom in on the picture of the doctor and then like do it that way but I, we just thought it would be easier because we wanted to get really accurate so we bought the material and then measured everything and then did it that way yeah. and I think it turned out pretty well we didn't paint the whole thing I only painted the parts which are visible obviously because there's no point in painting this part because you're not gonna see it anyway and I, I don't know if you can see but I also did the cuffs the cuffs have the same material as like the collar and this section so which is which is just liney and then we have the other one as and well and then this part which is the same as this part um but keep in mind, this is like a pinky colour. I don't know if it translates well. But again, it looks very good in lighting. But most fabric paints don't come in that colour. So I had to like mix the red and the white and the bit of purple and blue. It, it was a process. Um, so keep that in mind if you're going to do the same thing. So moving on, we have the waistcoat of the outfit that uh, Katie has sewed on the buttons. Do tell us your process for that. Okay, well, Dom got this waistcoat on eBay and it used to just have three buttons but I replaced all the buttons with these. They're these like... What, how do you describe those? So they're kind of light beige wood. They're kind of a wooden pattern. Yeah, they're like wood, wood or something. I'm, I'm not sure what the actual ones are like. Yeah, the actual ones have more of a brassy centre but uh, we had to find the best, next best alternative. Mm -hmm. So we got these little wood patterned ones which I think do the job. Yeah, they look pretty good. And yeah, so what we did was, well what I did I guess, I... So we wanted to make sure that when it was closed it had like the, the same sort of look. But so to do that you need to put a certain number on one side and then a certain number on the other. But I can't really tell you 
how many on each because it would definitely depend on what waistcoat you buy you'd kind of have to work that out for yourself depending on how many buttons it originally came with and the, the whole placement because this one only came with three so what if you buy a waistcoat with like five buttons i don't want to tell you to do the same thing i did because the process isn't gonna work so you're gonna have to do the maths for that by yourself yeah, that's the thing because a good few of these buttons are well technically useless yeah they don't most of them don't actually do anything they're just for like looks or whatever yeah, it was, um it's the same on her waistcoat as well which had an obscene amount of uh, yeah, buttons yeah she has eight buttons through. on each side for no reason they don't do anything <laughs> but um but yeah that's a thing um so yeah you're gonna have to work that out for yourself but make sure to when you're subbing them sew it while it's closed i think because then you'll know because I actually made a mistake first. I did eight on one side and eight on the other, and I wasn't thinking like, what would it look like when it was closed? So then, once I closed it, I was like, oh, this doesn't look right. So I had to like move a few of the buttons to the other side so it would look good. Um, yeah, so that, that, yeah. Oh, also make sure it's blue, because hers is blue. I know it looks gray in some lights of the show, but it's definitely blue. So now we move on to the coat. And for this one, I picked up, I was a very lucky find for this one because I picked up a sort of Victorian tailcoat on eBay. And that was the one I deemed kind of best fitting to uh, what Joe Martin actually wore. I mean, still not quite close when it comes to the lapels, but I don't have the money to get it custom made. It looks good though. Yeah, I think it does the job really well. So Kat, tell, take us through your purposes. Okay, well before I start the process, Make sure to get a tailcoat because hers is like a, it like curves kind of, and that's exactly what this does. And so you don't want to just get like a, a frock coat like 12s because hers isn't that. I feel like, yeah, I feel like it's a very unique shape. So make sure you get the right kind of coat or otherwise it won't have the same vibe. But anyway, so this was a lot easier than the waistcoat because this only has like, I don't know, I think it's like seven on one or something. It has a lot less buttons than the waist. I believe it has six. Six. I don't know. Well, I have one less button here just because his coat isn't long enough, I guess. It, it's, it's, it's complicated, but you'll see what I mean when you wear it. But basically, um, yeah, she has. it's weird because this coat has one button on one side and then loads on the other. But one side only has one button. So, yeah. Science. I don't know why. <laughs> None of them are functional, by the way, on hers. Her coat doesn't have coat oh, buttonholes it's just it's just loads of buttons yeah it's, it's really just a weird. stylistic choice but yeah hers kind of go diagonally i kind of t attempted to do that and then she has one button here randomly which is like directly opposite this button um yeah i don't really know what else to say about that to be honest so just make sure if you get a tail coat and you want to add the buttons make sure you put them on the right side oh wait yeah I, there's two on the back as well. I added those as well because I thought they looked cool. But anyway, back to what my point, right? Make sure you put this side on, like, this side is on the side with the red, and then this side is on the side with the yellow, I think. Yeah. Just make sure you put the buttons on the right side because I had to double check like 50 million times. <laughs> Well, you've done a fantastic job on the entire outfit, all the same, though. And I thank you very much. Thank you. I also know that Cos Daddy are doing their own version of the Roof Doctor outfit as well, so uh, feel free to give that a look when it comes out. I've seen a sneak peek of it thanks to a friend, and I must say, it is looking pretty good. So no doubt you'll see that plastered over social media when it eventually comes out. It's still in the pre-sales at the moment, but uh, we'll see how it goes. For added tips and tricks in terms of doing a closet cosplay of the outfit or just using a different method of clothing if you don't want to sew or you don't want to paint or anything like that, then feel free to check out Redheaded Chinny, aka Vlogsy's version of uh, the How to Cosplay the Fugitive Doctor, and that might also have some tips and tricks that will benefit you, so feel free to give that a look. Also, shoes. I forgot to mention them originally, don't tell anybody. But Joe Martin wears uh, black Doc Martin shoes, just like Peter Capaldi did in his tenure as the 12th Doctor. So if you have any uh, for your 12th Doctor cosplay, just wear them as well. If you don't, then just get any black boots, really. I'm very lax when it comes to shoes. Uh, style and comfort. Well, that was our little tutorial on how to cosplay the Fugitive Doctor. Hope you enjoyed that and I hope it helps you towards any cosplay of her that you are planning to put together, if you are so well that inclined. As always, feel free to like, comment and subscribe as most YouTubers say. But yeah, if you like the cosplay content that's being put out, feel free to hang around because next week I'll be talking about the 12th Doctor. So until then, see ya!